cannot believe I'm filming a morning video without any coffee. It's even on my shirt. My channel today we're gonna talk about probably my biggest life struggle and that is becoming a morning person I am absolutely in no way a morning person I am a night owl I love sleeping through the day I just love sleeping in general but then when life got really busy and I realized there were so many things I wanted to accomplish each day the idea of sleeping in and still getting my to-do list done every day was impossible so I did have to change my habits and routine to become more of a morning person Needless to say, if you are also a night owl like myself, but are trying to change their habits and become more of a morning person, here are my top five tips for getting up and moving every morning. Tip number one is to have a solid night routine. Now for me, every night before I go to bed, I have to lay out my clothes for the next day, have my lunch packed for the next day, my teeth will be brushed, my face will be washed, I'll have my whole skincare routine done, and then I will have no electronics in my bedroom one hour before I go to sleep. That is just how I now operate. It tells my body it's time to shut down for the night and help me just keep a consistent sleep schedule. I used to get up really early every day when I had to work and on the weekends I would just sleep in until noon and it really threw my body off. Like the sink just wasn't there. So I said to myself on the weekends I will still wake up at that time but I can hang out in my bedroom, drink coffee. I'm not like running around to get out the door to get to the office. But having a consistent night routine kind of sets the tone each night and lets your body know, hey, it's time to start winding down and we're going to get some sleep. Tip number two is for the people who love the snooze button. I love the snooze button. But when you're trying to wake up early, the snooze button is kind of like your worst enemy in disguise. So, so my advice is to place your alarm away from your bed. If you use your phone, place it across the room. If you have an alarm clock, also place it somewhere where you can't reach it without getting out of bed. This forces you to get up, out of bed, to turn that alarm off. By the time it's off, you're already standing, and the chances of you going back to sleep are you know, a little more slim. They're not gone, though. There's still hope. For me, I do use my iPhone to set my alarm, and I did used to keep it right by my bed, but once I did say no electronics in my room one hour before bed, I just know to set the alarm on the phone, turn the ringer off, but the alarm on, so if somebody contacts me or I get a message of any kind, I won't hear it, but the alarm will still make a sound. I plug it in and place it on the opposite side of my bedroom, so I have to get up every morning to turn off that loud, obnoxious noise. Tip number three is to have something to look forward to each and every morning. Whether it's your favorite breakfast, whether it's a cup of coffee, a podcast, a YouTube video, a TV show, whatever it is, make sure you have something that will get you out of bed other than getting to the office. Unless that's what you love. If that's what gets you out of bed, go for it. But for me, it's usually a cup of coffee or the podcast or the audiobook, something that I was listening to before that I know I'm going to enjoy and it gives me a purpose to get out of bed that is for me, not working for the man. Tip number four I kind of already touched on, but it is to have the day prepared. Like I said before, I have my clothes laid out, I have my lunch packed. Have as many things set out and ready to go as possible. I also like to keep my keys by the door, my purse as it's already packed by the door, and shoes by the door. Those three things have to be by my door before I go to sleep because I know the last thing I want to do when I'm getting out of the house in the morning is to be searching for keys and shoes. It's a personal pet peeve. So if you can, do whatever you can the night before to ensure a nice, smooth beginning to your morning. And tip number five is to have 16 ounces of cold lemon water. And I mean actually taking a lemon, cutting it in half, squeezing the juice out and pouring cold water over it and then just drinking it. I cannot tell you enough how much this wakes you up. A lot of times, especially right now, I have to sing really early in the morning for shows. I don't know if you've been following me for a while. I'm in the middle of a musical and I just sang with the symphony here in my city. Those videos will be up later, shameless plug. But when I have to wake up early, it's hard enough waking up early. To wake up early and ready to sing on you know, a professional level is a whole other story. But drinking that water not only hydrates you and gets your metabolism going and gets your nutrients, it wakes you up. It's like, hey, good morning, we gotta go. Wake up. 
Sometimes I will feel just as alert after drinking the lemon water as I do after a cup of like cold brew coffee. But obviously the water is much more healthy as it hydrates you. So if you can, even if it's on the go, fill your water bottle with some water and lemon and start your day. But anyway, those are my five tips for how to become a morning person. Again, I am not an expert in this. It is still a daily struggle that I try to get better at each and every day. If you are naturally a morning person, please leave me comments on how those who are not can better their morning routine. Leave them right down below in the comment section. If you like these kind of videos or are also trying to become a morning person yourself, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, click that little red subscription button. It is down below. It'll update you with each and every video I put out in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hmm. It's not too late for coffee.